I like Grandma's habitat. I think everybody will like seeing Grandma's habitat, don't you? Yeah. It's very pretty. Grandma's put a lot of work into it. Yeah. I like the turtle. Okay. Yeah, we go turtle. <laughs> Abraham, you want to do some? Yeah. Grab some. Grandma, I'll fly. Okay. Oh, they do it, babe. That's going to go to the tortoises. Mama. So they just stand right there. Hey, Mama. That's enough. Hi. You guys are going to feed the turtles and the bunnies? Yep. yep. The tortoises. And the bunnies. Yeah. Remember how I showed you? Pile by pile. Drop it in a pile. Okay, now come over this way and go in this circle and... Come on, little bunnies. Little baby bunnies. Yeah, these are little cottontails. The jacks come too. And be careful don't throw it on the rock. Throw it in the dirt. They can't get it if it's in the rock. Okay, now go off that way. Yep, like that. I moved and he got scared. Oh, here comes one of the tortoises. So I have to go. I'm gonna let you take over. Oh, there's there's Marshall. Marshall. Hi, Marshall. I see him. I'm gonna come over there. He's going over to see uh, Julia. Julia, I love you, honey. I love you too. Let's see that tortoise. This one's Marshall. Hi, Marshall. Grandpa. Marshall says, "Where's mine?" Oh yeah, he only comes out with feet. What's up, Marshall? And now. You put food in. Go oh, look at him eat. It's so cute. Look at him eat. <laughs> Got cobwebs on him and everything. Yeah, flower. It's cool. Just watching them eat, They're, it's pretty. It's been so long since all four of them been out together. <laughs> he gets so messy on his lips <laughs> and on his nose. I'm trying to eat the carrot. It's pretty cool. I do like that vegetables. <laughs> she does like the vegetables, huh? No, no. <laughs> Hi, Marshall. <laughs> I believe it's you. Where are the other ones at, Kai? Well, there's a little burrow there. That's where the that new one's the flower is. The, the little other, burrow. The other little one. Yeah. The little teeny tiny burrow. I see it. Myrtles. She dug that herself. Did she? Yeah. And then she got big and fat, so she had to bite it. <laughs> there was a, a log thing in there. Who's in this one, Chip? That's, it. That's Chips. And he ain't coming out? He might. He might like him in the morning. Lole, 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 lole,
No, I know. We have a couple board plants. Here comes Chip. Go. Hi, Chip. And you go to Is he eating the other one's food? Yeah. Don't touch him. So many cobwebs. Chip says, Give me my slop. Those are literally just tourist pellets like the water. Well, he likes it. We had a, a little spooky snake in the air. He all dusty, you? Yep. They get dusty. That's what Dad was saying, yeah. It was a little bit of a snake. This is a fat bird. All of our animals are obese, whether they're wild or not. This one right here. <laughs> He's going, he's all round. So I'm going to steal some of that food. Chip's like, all right, I ate, back to my hole. Oh, every day. Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel. So today I'm going to be getting this car prepped up ready. I gotta do an oil change. I've gotta get it prepped for the road trip as well as ready for Patrick to be able to buy it. We're gonna shampoo it, clean it up, get it all spiffy and whatnot, get the oil change done, top off all the fluids, make sure it's good to go for him and he'll have a nice safe car. So I'm gonna get this oil change going. It's pretty easy, pretty basic. First things first, I gotta jack this guy up. Let's get this thing going a bit. In case that the jack releases, now I've got the safety stand. Now I can safely get underneath this guy. Next thing, I gotta get these screws out so I can access my filter. Now, put that on my way. I gotta get my oil bolt off, my drain bolt for my oil, and then I've gotta get my filter off. And while I'm underneath here, I'll be checking out everything as well, like I always do. So, I'm gonna go grab my drain bucket. It's the only thing I can grab. Make sure I've got this open. Worst thing to do is try try to drain oil, and that ain't open. My little breather hole is broken, so oh well. And as well, before uh, let's get this oil. Let's set it up here. That's the cover for the engine. This bolt, basically, what you're gonna do. Let's just break it free. And bop it loose. Okay. Now, once you get your bolt pretty much loosened, you should be able, should be able to hand do it. Okay. You never want to tighten these things up too, too tight. Because you'll be hating life if you did. So basically, 
very slowly pull that out to where now it's leaking and now it's basically plugging it so you're not gonna have the bolt just shoot down and shoot oil everywhere. What you're gonna wanna do is just move fast. Now, I was perfectly able to get that right in the hole. And the only oil that came on me is, hey, no oil on me at all. Only oil is from this, or on this bolt. So, that's pretty cool. That's it, that's all you gotta do. Let it drain out. Once that gets drained fully, then there is your oil filter, which it might be in a different place than on your vehicle. You definitely wanna make sure you're unplugging your oil, not your transmission. Definitely not a how-to, exactly, exactly. You have a Hyundai Accent 2013. This is exactly what it is, but it's pretty easy. Oil changes save you a lot of headache. Next step, getting off your filter. Same thing, lefty loosey. Okay, look at it. This is where the mess really comes into play because it's hard to get away from the lefty loosey. Start loosening this guy up. I like using this guy because it's got the teeth in the three different positions. This is where it's hard not to get oil on you because it is nasty. But just be careful. Whew. With that thing dropping out, and you don't want that to happen. But. It happens. Alright, so to help it drain out a little bit, I'm gonna lower this guy. I'm gonna watch everything, make sure it's lining up. Not draining out a lot more and yeah we're gonna let it drain out all the way clean it up and get a uh, new oil in there so today it's gonna be last time I do this oil change on this car it's pretty uh pretty crazy but I always like doing it I'd rather do it than have somebody else do it it costs pretty much the same and I know it's done right a lot of times you'll go get an oil change done and they won't change out your filter either but you'll pay for it but they don't do it so I'd rather make sure that filter is changed out every single time and nine times out of ten you get a, a new filter for free if you buy a five quart or five quart jug or whatever so really isn't that bad you guys if you can do it do it I suggest you doing it because everybody should be able to do an oil change I'm gonna let this drain out and get back on it. Let's do it. All right, well, while I'm letting that drain out, I'm gonna get into my air box. Something I always do, no matter what. I'm gonna change out my air filter. But this is something that you guys should be doing as well. This is a K&N filter. I can clean this guy, re-oil it, toss it back in there, and it's a brand new filter again. You'll see that there is stuff in your box, especially if you live in on the dirt, so you definitely wanna vacuum that up before you put that filter back in or else it's just gonna get all back up in there. But what I'm also gonna be doing, and another reason why I took this out, is I'm gonna take out this box completely and get to the transmission underneath. So, I've got to get that thing going while I get this thing uh, drained out. So, I'm going to set you guys somewhere and get this thing rolling. See where I can put you. All right. So, finally found a good spot for you guys. Or the best spot I could find. <laughs> uh, 
I'm going to take off the top box. All it's holding it in is a keeper ring. Almost like a hose clamp, but it's a little different in a sense. And it should be. Now, I've got to get two, three bolts out. That's what I'm talking about. All right, so there's my transmission. These kind of transmissions, there is no um, real spot to fill or anything like that, except for on this side of the transmission. Over on this side, down below, there is a port that I'm gonna have to get to. But I had to replace this hose right here. So, that was fun. But what I'm gonna need to do is get up in there so I can fill it. But I'm gonna go clean this guy out real quick. All right, so. So once you clean it up for a quick little spray and everything like that, you want to get the power clean can in. It's the air filter cleaner itself. What it's going to do is take out all that uh, grease and everything. It's a degreaser and everything. It makes me really wonder what else you can use, but I always try to go with this product itself because it is in a, a reusable filter. It's not the exact same. It is a Spectra version, if anybody knows what that is. But you just spray this guy on there, flip it, spray it again on the other side so that way if there is any grease or any oil or anything like that, basically it's gonna clean it completely, make it have the best optimum airflow itself so I'm gonna let that sit there for probably about five minutes give it another rinse once it's rinsed I've got to let it dry and then you got a special oil for it so back to the filter now spray it all out get all the solution coming out So, so once you get that, always give it a couple shakes. I gotta find a spot to dry it. Uh, this is pretty easy stuff. Just bring you guys underneath. Now I got to clean up all that oil that's gooped over. As well, as I've got to clean up all that oil that's came out from the filter. Well, it doesn't really look that bad, but like I said, I've been doing the oil changes regularly on this thing, when you're supposed to do it, how you're supposed to do it, it's been done right every single time. So, let me clean this up, and then I'm going to show you what to do to add everything back up. Let's do it. Hey, baby. What you doing? Oil change. Oil change? Yep. Yeah. Perfect. Also, the air filter. Man, I'm telling you, Patrick's happy, or better be happy. Oh, he will be. He's got a K9 filter in this thing, so he doesn't have to buy one. He just needs to clean it and just buy the cleaning solution. Nice. And this car will stay running up. So. Hooking him up. Mm -hmm. Getting it ready for our drive across country. Yeah. Good stuff. Getting it ready for him, getting it ready for us. I'm gonna have to get this engine warmed up so I can do the uh, ah, so I can do the transmission check here. Like nice. I am heading out to the trailer to see about putting these yep. things away. It's growing so on me. That. I just wanted to say a special thank you to Dana and to David out in Arkansas for mailing us this beautiful bath rug as well as these awesome hand towels and dish towels. 
They're super soft, very nice, and it was just a really generous and thoughtful gift. So thank you so much, Dana and David. We really appreciate it. Very, very sweet of you. Thank you. Alrighty. So I've got that area cleaned up. And then, get your filter. Okay. So since this filter is actually gonna be put in with that straight up, fill this. If you have a filter that's like this, don't fill it. <laughs> it's pretty, pretty simple. Or so you would think. But I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do. So this car takes roughly about four quarts to fill. I'm gonna add this guy to, ah! Don't do that, I squirreled it. I'm trying to look at you and filling it. I'm hoping that's in the frame. <laughs> I'm not doing this again. Okay, so fill this. It's gonna bubble, 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 bubble. And this, that's gonna help quite a bit when you go to start the car immediately. So now I gotta clean up this oil mess before Melanie sees it. She's coming around. Oops. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Shish happens. It's the only oil really spot. Well, at least it's clean oil. Hey, that rug and those towels look super good in the trailer. Oh, yeah? Yeah, they look really good. That's what you were doing? Yep. But they nice. Okay. Put this on my head. Here's the oil filter. I'm just trying to hand crank it on there right now. I don't want to go too ham. So I've added the other two quarts that I had in that other jug. So now all I gotta do is add two more quarts, check the levels, and I should be good. filter is dry. Doesn't take that long out here in the desert. It's pretty nice. I'm, uh, right, let me get you over on this side. I'm gonna miss that when I, we go over to Arkansas. The fast drying for the filters and everything like that. But I'll make do. So I'm gonna show you this. It's basically, it's filter oil. Can and air filter oil. All right, so you don't have to go crazy. Just make it get it on there, both front and back. That's going to collect all the dirt. That's it. That'll be my air filter. Then I'll pop this air filter box back in there. I wanted to triple check all the hoses underneath it. But I got the air filter box back in there. I've got everything all squared away right here as well as I did the transmission. Um, I added, I just topped it off and everything like that. I've already done a flush to it so I just topped it off. Um, oil change is all done. I already topped off the coolant fluid as well. So the vehicle is good to go. I did fill up the tires as well. So now it's just basically cleaning up the vehicle itself and making it look pretty. So that way it's not a huge heap of pile. I've got this guy helping me out. You got your flag? Yeah. 
Yeah. Uncle gave it to me. Uncle gave it to you? Mm-hmm. You give it to you on 4th of July? Yeah. Yeah. You helping me out? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, thank you. It's fine. I've got Julia over here pulling out all the change. Yeah. And everything. There's so much stuff. I know. Try to get it all out, baby. <laughs> Try to get out all the change and put it in there. I'll and probably have to like put hot water in there to like unstick it. Yeah. Some soapy water. We'll, we'll, we'll get it all cleaned up, like I said. We'll uh, take you guys along as I'm doing it as well. I'm uh, about to go spray out all of the floor mats. So he's going to have actual nice floor mats. And we've already started cleaning up the uh, car seat covers that we bought for it and everything like that. So You're just hyper, aren't you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. candy you've been eating, huh? Yeah. Getting ready for Halloween? Yeah. <laughs> Wow. All the change. A lot of change. Yeah. That is a lot of change. Yep, yep, yep. It's money. Yeah. You guys want to have that money? Yeah. 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 You guys want that money? Yeah. You guys are gonna have to help me clean this car out if you want that money. <gasps> You're gonna give us this money? Yeah, I'll give it to all three of you guys. We'll split it up. We'll count it, and we'll make sure it's all split up, deviated. Correct, okay? Can yeah. I have you if you guys do, if you guys do, do what you're supposed to do, then I'll give you that money, no, okay? No, no, I know, so try to get all of it. I try to get any and all. Get all that trash out. Go for it. Money it motivates that kid. <laughs> so I'm going to go spray out the uh, floorboards or the uh, mats right here. So I'm going to spray them all out, see how clean I can get them just by uh, spraying them with the hose. And if I have to clean them, I'll clean them. But Patrick, the car's going to be nice for you. All right. So I'm going to set you guys here while I get it all squared away. the driver's side one is the dirtiest because it's my work car and <laughs> I'm the only one drives it <laughs> it's all nice and clean now so I'm gonna shake these guys off and let them dry I got Melanie peeking through the door <laughs> let's do it alrighty you guys checkup update so we have vacuumed the car and Melanie is shampooing so Let's take you in there. Sorry for the noise. The noise of the shampooer is pretty loud. So, just bear with me. Hopefully Mel will uh, throw some music over it. Let's get on in here. Outside, if you guys can't tell, so uh, we'll most likely clean it all up in the sense of the interior, wiping everything down, washing the outside, getting the windows, and all that tomorrow. But tomorrow we are going to have to pack and get this van or this car ready. And stuff. So that way, anything that he has here can go there, and we're not having to store it anymore. So. We'll catch back with you in a bit. All right, you guys. Well, Gary has got the oil changed on the car. We got it all vacuumed and shampooed and cleaned and good to go. So now we're pretty much ready to take it on the road. We will be cleaning it um, on the outside tomorrow before we actually hit the road. But pretty much, it's good to it's go. It's all good to go. So tomorrow we'll give it a bath. 
Yep. We'll load up all Patrick's uh, stuff that he left here. Yeah, like the, so, the blankets bag. Blankets <laughs> bag. He's got some games and toolbox up there and whatnot. He's got some stuff around here. Finish so. up all, all anything that he left when he moved out. We're gonna make raid sure him. that, and we're gonna call him on the phone too and be like, "Hey, what else? What else? Anything, anything else? Anything at all that you left? Tell me, because you put it somewhere. I have no idea." Well, he's gonna probably say, "Well, you clean the garage." But it's okay. We're going to try to find anything and everything we possibly can that's Patrick's and bring it to him. This week we have a very busy week coming up. Um, we are leaving on our road trip on Thursday morning. And so Thursday we're going to be leaving, taking off, and going out to New Mexico. And oh, then the from New, New Mexico, Mexico we will be going out to Oklahoma to meet up with Jason Crocker and the Crockers, Jaylena from Leave Her Wild. There's a ton of other YouTube channels that are going to be out there. I know that Jared Crocker is going to be there. I hope to see the real Matt Crocker as well. So we'll get triple trouble with all the Crocker boys. That'd be fun. It's and big uh, trouble. it's going to be some big trouble. <laughs> it's going to be a good time. <laughs> I'm just saying. It'll be a good time, guys. But I know that there's going to be a ton of people out there that we really can't wait to see. A I'm lot of these subscribers. To the subscribers. Yes. Yeah, That's, we can't uh, wait to see you guys. My biggest thing because the YouTubers we can get a face to. Yeah, we know subscribers. What they look like. I don't know exactly, uh, other than the icon or the little yeah. picture that you have right there. Y'all so. are kind of anonymous, except for the comments that you leave, which we love you guys. Oh, you guys are amazing. people face to face. That's who, that's who I am. Yeah. So we are going to definitely be at the Crockers meetup on Saturday in Oklahoma. We're going to have a really good time. If you guys are in the Oklahoma area and you guys would like to meet up with us on Saturday, go over to the Crockers page. And I know that on one of his videos, his like, latest video, in the description somewhere, he should have information about where to go the times I know it's from 1 to 5 and it's at a little church and it's in Pryor Oklahoma so you're gonna have to go to his page Definitely let him know so yeah. that way everybody's in the know of how many people are gonna be there yep so definitely check that out and it's can't wait to see you guys there super awesome with that meetup so not only are we gonna have the meetup but we're also gonna be able to go and look at our property. Yep, the very next day on the Sunday after the meetup, we'll be heading over to our property that we purchased out in Arkansas, and we're gonna be able to take another look around. We're gonna take you guys with us. We're gonna be out there with the measuring tape, kind of trying to see and imagine where we're gonna be putting things when we actually do move. And we're just gonna be able to deep dive into our property again and walk around and not be like, Oh, should we be here? We'll be like, yeah. this is mine. <laughs> this should be good. <laughs> I already know that that is the spot. Like, I honestly, know. this that spot that we got. It's perfect. It's perfect for everything that we want. So. so I'm really excited to be able to take you guys along this trip with us. Um, and then after we go to Arkansas, we will... Or, and then after we go to our property in Arkansas, we will be heading over to my sister's house to meet up with Don and Patrick. We'll be doing the trade-off with the car. And then the next day, we'll be heading on an airplane back over to Vegas to get our butts back over here to Arkansas. Or yeah. Arizona. <laughs> Squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> For sure. I was like, ah. Arizona. Arizona. I, mean, I know Arizona. it starts with an A. I got Arkansas on the brain. I, got I know Arkansas you do. You're excited. I am. I'm super awesome. excited. But so we have a busy week guys. I'm going to be giving you guys daily vlogs as best as I can. They will be starting on Friday. So keep an eye out for those. Big Make plus. sure notifications are turned on. Big, big plus. What's this? I fixed the computer. Yes! Okay, so last time yes. we went at the computer was so slow. It was agonizing for me to try to do those vlogs. <laughs> I was guys. like, I wish I could do something right now. I had. I don't know where any fries, electronics, or any store in that sense is there for me to poof. There you go. So we oh. we fixed it this week, so it's gonna be a lot faster, stronger, better. So hopefully it doesn't kill me to do these vlogs like it did last trip. Well, she's got double the RAM. Alright, and she also has two terabytes in there instead of the five hundred gigabytes that was in there before. Yeah, I was working with Any that. computer nerd out there knows it's gonna be like 10 times faster just with that alone yeah so I'm excited <laughs> it should make my my work along the way a lot better and easier I'm gonna like I said I'm just gonna do the very best that I can please be patient with us make sure notifications are turned on make sure you're subscribed like share comment all that good stuff you guys because it's gonna we be got a, a lot crazy of videos week. coming out this live that's coming out this Wednesday okay or today, I guess this video is going to be coming out. Yep. So today on this live, it'll be early. It'll yep. be like three o'clock or something like that. Pacific so Standard Time. We'll definitely have a little 
notification. Yeah. So just make sure notifications are turned on. We hope to see you guys during that live. We hope that you guys enjoy our road trip as much as we know we're going to. So lots lot. of big stuff coming up. So a lot of good stuff. And we're not gonna have the kids to yeah. be in our face the whole time, which I is love sad. I love them, and I'm I'm gonna miss them the whole time. I but know. at the same time, we're gonna be free in a sense. We get some alone time. If you guys are parents, time. you we understand. Get some alone time. We're gonna have some fun. Yeah. <laughs> Not that worry in the sense of, what are you doing now? Ah, ah, ah. <laughs> no, that's, I don't want to open that. <laughs> yeah, that's going to be on to somebody else, which thankfully, thank you, Erica. And thank you, Mom. And thank you, Mom, for okay. being able to watch them. We appreciate you guys so, so much. And I want to say thank you so much to Tundra Jason because he's our ride from the airport coming home. So you guys will be seeing Mr. Tundra as well. I want to just say... Thank you so much, you guys, for watching our videos. We love you guys. Stay tuned for some big, crazy stuff coming up this week. And uh, we have a lot. Yeah, we have a lot coming. So <laughs> stay tuned. And we'll see you guys later. Hope you have a good one. Catch you on the next one. Later. Bye, you guys. <laughs>